So the other day I found some off-brand uh, alkaline batteries inside one of my Chinese toys. It said something like OK superpower. So it's not a great superpower, it's just OK. But these batteries were pretty old and were depleted quite a bit, so I thought I should recharge them. But then I read this caution. It may explode if recharged or improperly installed. At first I was like, ha, lol China. But then I saw the same warning message written on Duracell as well. I'm a sucker for Duracell. I, I absolutely love Duracell batteries on every single thing. But uh, I noticed that even Duracell is warning you against recharging them. Then why the hell do these things exist in the market? I mean, they claim to be a safe way of recharging your alkaline batteries, but these guys are warning us not to do it. Is it some kind of a huge corporate conspiracy to have us keep buying new batteries? Or are they telling the truth and will these things actually explode if we recharge them? I mean, I have charged them before for hours together and nothing has happened. I couldn't get any direct answers with some experts, so I did my own research. Yeah, turns out you can kind of charge them, but then again, there is a risk of them exploding. So both are kind of true. You can't just leave them at the wall like you would leave your smartphone overnight and then just go to sleep. You can't do that. You kind of have to monitor if they're getting hot because uh, these things are not exactly meant to handle high temperature. So if they're getting hot on these chargers, then unplug them immediately and let them cool down. So when they are plugged in and recharging, you have to be near them. You can't just go take a nap. And remember, they're not kidding around. These things actually can uh, kind of cause a small explosion or uh, kind of leave acid all over the place. So you may as well lose your charger and the batteries and anything that's around them if you're not careful. I mean, I know this is kind of a ghetto solution that's not really recommended. I mean, these things are not exactly marketed as rechargeable battery anyways, but obviously you can recharge them. There are plenty of videos that show you how to do it and they all follow a simple step. You just plug them in for about 45 minutes and keep monitoring their temperature. If they're not getting warm, you can leave them in for an hour or so and then unplug them. Do this cycle once every few hours, say charge them for one hour every, once every six hours. You can use something like an electric timer or uh, just switch them on or off manually if they are nearby. And although the electrolyte can't be properly restored all the way, you should still be able to get about 80% of charge back from them. That's pretty nice. And judging by their small size, they won't last forever, but I think you should at least be able to get um, around 8 cycles out of them with this method. So in conclusion, these alkaline or uh, nickel cadmium or whatever kind of batteries are rechargeable, but you have to be careful when you're doing it. It's not just about saving money without buying new batteries. You're also trying to reduce the waste that these things cause. Let's be honest, not all of them will be recycled properly. So yeah, there you have it. Hope you found the answer to whether you can recharge these batteries or not. Just don't keep them next to your face when they are plugged in. Subscribe if you liked it and have a nice day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.